Yo, what's going on guys? This is Jonathan. Today I'm bringing you a BMT store video and this one is going to be for all of you shippers who are about to leave or leave in a year or leave in a few months or I really hope you don't have a year contract by the way, but if you have to wait a year um, like some people do, then this video is going to be for you. So, this is a, video, a story, yeah, it's a video, it's a story about how um, this girl ran away at BMT. Like, I don't know if they classify this as AWOL, but she basically went AWOL. She was a trainee. Um, they got her. It wasn't like something that turned into some big deal or anything like but it's just a funny story because it happened in my squadron while I was at BMT right underneath me. So um, it was dinner time and we were eating dinner whatever at the DFAC and we were done. We marched back up, right? You don't you when you go to the DFAC you go as a flight, but when you're done, you march back as an, uh, like a detail or an element. So like two, two or like five of you or whatever will go back up alone. So your flight mate, like flight mates, your wingman will still be in the defect eating dinner um, while you're already upstairs and you already ate and finished, right? So this happened after I had already finished and was upstairs, but I still had um, people, wingmen, in the defect eating. So basically there was um, a younger flight uh, the trainee, she was a female, I don't, I don't know her name or anything, I, I wouldn't tell you her name anyways, but she was getting her food or whatever, and she made it like to the end of the line, and you have to do facing movements and stuff like that, but once you get your tray and stuff, you're not supposed to do facing movements because they don't want you to spill anything, right? So you just have to get to the chow runners, to your table as fast as you can, sit down, blah, 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 blah. Now, I don't know what happened. I don't know if she messed up. Um, she wasn't taking, like, the steps right. I don't know if she wasn't going fast enough or whatever. But, and I always forget what this is called. Um, super, it was, like, our superintendent, I believe. And his name, I'm not going to tell you his name, but he was a master sergeant, and he was really scary, and he was bald, and he looked Italian, and uh, if you know who he is, um, then you know who he is, and that's the that's the best description I can give of him. So if you go to the 322nd, I don't think he's there anymore, but you, you, you'll know who I'm talking about. Anyways, he started yelling at her. He was like crazy. Um, he had like this deep voice. And he was a really scary dude, um, but he was our stairwells um, superintendent, flight chief. Is that what it is? I don't really know what it, what it was called at BMT, to be honest with you. But he started yelling at her, and um, she started yelling back. She started yelling back at him, which is a big no-no. Um, one thing is you don't really ever want to yell at BMT unless you know you're yelling like chants or something like that. But you especially don't want to be yelling um, at an MTI, especially when they're a master sergeant, and especially in the defect at the snake pit, right? It was right at the snake pit. So at the defect, there's two sides of the defect cut right down the middle. This is for Alcatraz, by the way. And the end of the line ends right in front of a long table where all the MTIs sit while they wait for their flights to finish eating. So they're literally staring at you as you're messing up absolutely everything. Absolutely everything. You only grab one cup of water, trainee. Oh, you're gonna get more dessert, trainee. Oh, you want some of that coffee, trainee. Blah, 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 trainee. Oh, you, you know, whatever. You're not moving fast enough, trainee. Just tons and tons and tons of stuff like that, right? So you're, you pretty much get yelled at at least once a day, maybe, right? It's not that crazy, but you have a, like, <laughs> that's like the hot spot of BMT where you have the most potential to get yelled at is right there And so she messed something up and I don't know what week she was. I think she was third week um, And she just she had enough. I she just had enough I guess right so she starts yelling back and stuff and Eventually, I, I don't know how but the last thing that happens is she dips She literally runs out the side door because you, you have the end of the lines the snake pit and then the side doors hallways are like on each side right so she dips out and she literally sprints and runs and uh he started chasing after her i guess or something like that and eventually uh, security forces got called and stuff and eventually they found her um but she literally ran away she literally ran away and uh it was super funny because our flight came back up there, there, but like super quick and made it um, upstairs and stuff. They're like, dude, this girl just ran away. She dipped, bro. She yelled at Master Sergeant, blah, 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 blah. And she just dipped. And, and then we just like hear cops like, rrr, rrr, and we're like, what is happening? It was crazy. It was like the, I know it's like probably not that crazy of a story. It's probably one of those things where you had to have been there. But I'm going to get to the point of the story in a second here. But honestly, it was just like the most exciting thing. It was like watching cops in real life. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, she ran away like bad boy. You know, like it was crazy. So, Anyways, that happened, right? Let me tell you another really quick story um, about BMT and just people running away. Basically, this guy had enough of BMT and he somehow got in contact with his mom 
like with letters and stuff, his mom bought him a plane ticket and he ran away, snuck out of the base and had was staying at a hotel with his mom like before they were gonna fly home because he was just like, eh, I don't wanna be in the Air Force anymore. I don't wanna, I don't wanna be a BMT. Obviously, a BMT, you can't just walk on out because you don't wanna be there anymore. Like, you just can't do that. So um, he ended up um, getting in really, really big trouble for that. And this is a story that MTIs would tell us. Um, I think it happened a couple years ago, but the fact remains is running away. Now we're gonna get into the stuff about you shippers. I just wanna say like, if you don't know if you wanna join the Air Force or what you wanna do with your life or what you wanna to go to school for or anything along those lines, just, just be patient with it, you know? If you don't know, um, if you want to join the Air Force or not, you don't know if you're mentally capable of joining the Air Force or not, you know, there's just a whole list of things, right? If you don't know if it's right for you, just wait until you know what is right for you because it's going to be a lot worse for you if you go to BMT or for any branch, you go to boot camp, whatever, and then you run away. You're gonna be in a world of hurt and trouble and it's gonna be a lot of paperwork and you're gonna lose money and it's gonna suck. So, if you don't know if you're, men if you don't think you're mentally capable enough of making it through BNT or wherever you end up, I, f I suggest that you either wait until you are or you find the best way to cope with that and you deal with it and you talk to chaplains and mental health or whoever you have to talk to to do it and then at the end of the day, if it's not gonna work for you, it's not gonna work for you. Because the most important thing is you being happy. Just being, make, the one thing is you have one life, don't have any regrets, okay? So, I just, I really wish that those people who ran away, like I really wish that they would have had a better situation and a better experience where they would have been able to handle that. Now obviously the military isn't cut out for everybody and some people it's gonna happen to because it's a weeding out process, whether you get hurt and injured and you get kicked out, whether you're just not mentally capable of staying in, whatever it may be. But if you feel like, mm, I don't know if I can handle getting yelled at, maybe I shouldn't go to BMT, you just have to really, really consider your options there because it's just gonna be better um, to avoid that situation completely rather than going through with it. Now, from personal experience, and it has been a couple years, my, my BMT information might be outdated at this point um, because of time, right? The reason I started making YouTube videos was because I was watching all these military YouTubers like Kyle Gott and all these other people, but they went to BMT like six years ago, right? And so I knew BMT had changed because my recruiter was telling me all this stuff and I'd go home and watch all these videos and be like, dang, this is not right. And I, I know the YouTube thing and so it just kind of worked out that way. But now my information might be old. So, um, you know, I just want to make sure that you guys um, know exactly what you want to do and I don't want you to end up in a situation like that um, because that would suck. So, anyways, thank you again so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, drop a like, and leave your ship dates down below along with any other comments that you may have or questions, whatever it may be. Um, I really do like replying to you guys, answering your questions. And yeah, it makes me happy. So anyways, thank you again so much, so much for watching. Uh, let me know what you think of these like story type videos. I like to tell them and I like to tie them into things like this because it's really important to understand like, you know, if it's not right for you, it's not right for you. And, and it might suck, but you know, there is something for you out there. So yeah, anyways, again, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed and peace out.